tried to go. And he's got to stop her, otherwise the scene is over. Right. <laughs> okay. So we need to hear this line. Uh, um, the soldier's picket, he gets himself into danger for nothing, nothing at all, and must go into the third courtyard at home. She has to want to go, and he has to stop her so that he can make the marriage proposal. It could have what it could have ended up with him just going, her going, and then we would have had no story. Can I just make it one through? I accept him speaking out. But I would have thought it would be more effective to me if she was actually turned to him. Why is that? You tell me. <laughs> Probably because it looks more at, at least at the moment when she's you know, obviously talking to him personally. It's contrast with the formality of his approach. And I think he should be still. I think, I think he really should be, but I've been, I've been saying that. It's just a bit of a habit you've got of, of moving around. If you can really just keep it much simpler and, play, and you can play less and, and keep it very contained. Grandmother's footsteps is great for this because you had to keep still for that, otherwise you would have been sent back. So in a way, that exercise, you could just bring that exercise to bear on this. Your point that you're making, both of you, about her looking at him, can we come back to it? Because I, I think you're right, but let's be super sparse with this version of it first, before we get to that. 